Today we're going to talk about a delt connection and just what it looks like uh, graphically to draw it out and just uh, do the transformer connection as well so you can visually see it and where it gets its name from. We're going to do this for both the primary and the secondary side. So let's start on the primary side and just draw it out in the top. And we're going to tie our H1s to our H2s all the way around. Do this last one here, and if you notice, it looks like a triangle. And the way where it gets its name is that the Greek letter for delta is a triangle. So you notice it gives this shape right here. So if we move down to the bottom and just do our transformer connections, we're going to tie our H1s to our H2s all the way around. And then let's just run jumpers up like they're each going to a phase. And let's go ahead and label these. So we would have, let's put A phase right here, B phase, and C phase. That would be the same as we if we put them up here. A phase, B phase, and C phase. Imagine these are your, your connection points and then it comes out and goes up to the, to the phases. So that's the primary side for a delt connection. Uh, with a delt connection, it's a phase-to-phase -phase connection. And with transformers, in order to make the transformers work, you've got to have a potential difference across the coil. Well, you can do this in one of two ways, either a phase-to-phase -phase connection or a phase-to-ground connection. So for a delta, it's a phase-to-phase -phase connection. Uh, let's move over to the secondary side. So on the secondary side, we want to tie the X3s and the X1s together all the way around. And look at what uh, shape it makes when we do that. Once again, it gives the shape of a triangle. Oops, let me back that up. Make it look like a triangle. There we go. Which, once again, that's the Greek letter for delta is a triangle. That's where it gets its name. So let's move down to the bottom where we're going to do it, uh, the connections on the transformer. And once again, tie the X3s to the X1s all the way around. And then at this point, you could pull your uh, jumpers down. And remember, these are your hot legs. Just put an H by them for your hot legs, which would be the same up here on our diagram. Each one of these H's at the points that would represent the hot legs coming out for your connections to your service. So that's uh, what a delta connection looks like uh, in a diagram form on the top and then your connections on the bottom. Uh, thanks a lot guys.